The Democratic House appears geared up and ready to subpoena the Mueller report and seeks to receive an unredacted report to be able to read what Mueller said and not his medium, William Barr. President Donald Trump awoke this morning and turned to his favorite thing, other than McDonald's and Hannity, Twitter. Trump must be nervous about the report and what it really says about him. Trump's first tweet was, Robert Mueller was a godlike figure to the Democrats until he ruled no collusion in the long-awaited $30 million Mueller report. Now the Dems don't even acknowledge his name, have become totally unhinged and would like to go through the whole process again. It won't happen. I don't recall any godlike peons to Mueller, but he did not rule no collusion. The bar summary states that there was no direct collusion with the Russian government while saying nothing about unofficial Kremlin operatives. In addition, it's long been widely reported that with forfeitures, the investigation was a net gain to the government and $30 million a relative bargain compared to some other recent investigations. Think of it this way, it cost less than a few trips to Mare Lago. Trump then tweeted there is no amount of testimony or document production that can satisfy Jerry Nadler or Shifty Adam Schiff. It is now time to focus exclusively on properly running our great country. I smell another t-shirt opportunity for Trump in that tweet. But we do agree with Trump on his last sentence, we do need to focus exclusively on properly running our great country. Sadly, with him and his administration in the White House, that is not possible. Every day, news emerges about more Trump scandals and Trump incompetence. This week, already, the news has surfaced that more than two dozen individuals were granted security clearance despite recommendations to the contrary. Telltale Trump is sending us a message that despite his Twitter bravado, he is scared.